Good evening, folks. It's Dr. Beebe here with a quick office hours chat. Today, we're going to be discussing a practice problem that has to deal with the ideal gas law and the density formula. And so this is problem number 32 from our recent ACS practice test. And it asks us to find the density of a gas under um, a pressure of 0.855 atmospheres and at 25 degrees Celsius. And what it tells us is the density of the gas at some other set of conditions, namely one atmosphere and zero degrees Celsius. And so in order to solve this problem, um, we are going to first write down all of our given information. So we've got the initial set of conditions from part one, where it tells us the density, the pressure, and the temperature. Notice that I've converted this temperature from Celsius to Kelvin, because whenever we're working with the ideal gas law, we definitely need to do our temperatures in Kelvin. And then I'm going to use a value of the ideal gas constant that is um, the corresponding unit. So here I want to use the value of 0.08206 because that's the value that has liters, atmospheres, moles, and Kelvin. And just kind of double checking, it looks like all of my units nicely match up, which means this is the right value of the gas constant to use. And so the one wrench in trying to immediately solve for the density of the gas at the second set of conditions is that the formula that we have that relates together density with different ideal gas properties um, requires us to know the molar mass of the gas. Um, if you're interested in where this density um, formula comes from, I'll show you the derivation at the end of this video. Otherwise, this might be something you're already familiar with and you can kind of take it on good faith that this is a relationship. Um, and so, we can't immediately use this top version of the equation because we don't know the molar mass of the gas. So the trick that we're going to do is we're going to use the first set of information in order to solve for the molar mass of the gas. And in order to do that, we're going to take this top version of the equation <coughs> and we're simply <coughs> going to algebraically rearrange and we get that the molar mass of the gas is equal to the density of the gas times the value of the gas constant times the temperature reported in Kelvin divided by the pressure. And so what's great is in Excel, I can do this um, immediately and pretty easily. And this is going to tell me that the molar mass of my gas is 43.9 grams per mole. Now that I have that information, I can go ahead and use that and plug this back into the top version of the equation which tells me that the density under this new set of conditions is going to be equal to the pressure times the molar mass of the gas, which I just solved for in the previous step, divided by the value of my gas constant and also divided by my temperature. Again, I've taken the 25 degrees Celsius and expressed it in units of Kelvin. When I hit enter, that's going to give me a value for the density of the gas and it's going to be in units of grams per liter. And fortunately for us, that corresponds nicely to answer choice C. And so the correct answer for this problem is going to be C. All right, um, hopefully that was helpful for you in terms of solving a problem like this. If you are interested in being able to derive the equations that are on this slide from the ideal gas law, um, especially if you're working in a test like the ACS test, where you would not be provided with these equations since you might not have this memorized, the next thing I'm gonna do is show you briefly how you can actually rederive this on the fly. And so let's go ahead and show that starting from the version of the ideal gas equation that you probably have memorized, which is PV equals NRT, um, what we can plug in is that the molar mass of a gas is equal to capital M, the molar mass um, is equal to mass divided by n. Algebraically rearranged, that means that the number of moles of gas is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass. Um, and when we plug that in, what we can also further notice is that we've got mass and volume in the numerator and the denominator respectively. And that is simply by definition what, what density is. And so that gives us that the pressure times the molar mass is equal to the density times r times t. And so that is the version of the equation that most looks like the original ideal gas law, but frequently you'll see it rearranged um, just like they've shown at the bottom right of the slide, which is to say that density is equal to the pressure times the molar mass 
divided by RT, which is the same equation that we had at the at the beginning of this exercise. All right. Hope that helps. Happy studying.